Hi guys! Welcome to my first Bojo video. It is May and I'm finally excited to show you guys my process. I know it's been a while since I posted on Instagram about my Bojo and what I do, but I felt it was finally time to show you because I'm finally out of school and I have more time and, you know, it's finally showing the process of how I go through things and you get to see for first-hand experience of what I do and the things I experience when doing my Bojo. I hope you enjoy, don't forget to like and comment below, and yeah, enjoy! When it comes to a new month, the first step is discovering your theme. To me, the cover page reflects the design and the content of the month, but it is also where I draw ideas from and incorporate the imagery into the pages. I've always drawn out my pages first so that I have a basic outline before going in with my fine liner. This way, I can play around with ideas and then I can erase them before making it permanent because I'm sure we've all made that mistake of going in with the fine liner first and then not liking what you've drawn and you're like, well now it's in my book so you either have to rip out the pages or you just have to live with it. So I decided to avoid that by using my pencil first, going through, drawing out my ideas, settling on an idea, and then creating my pages from there. My first step into creating the cover page was, again, settling on the theme. I decided to focus on nature and regrowth since this is the time that everything starts to bloom. So I decided to go with a simple tree branch drawing. I prefer to keep it bare to reflect the blooming time that May goes through. So this is what I came up with. Next I did a simple font that is inspired by a font called Maria that I use in my graphic design work. I discovered it when doing a lo logo project for school and since then I've really liked it and incorporated it into my Bojo. And then I added some boxes around the text of May to create some depth. I've decided to leave the tree as an outline as I prefer to keep it this way. I just like it. It is visually appealing to me to keep it this way. I've also used a blue in the areas around the title to represent the sky. So up next is my calendar page. Again, I've already set up the page and now I'm just making the final touches by adding in the outlines. As you can see, the fine liner did bleed through the page, making it terribly noticeable, but I continued anyway. I was a little disappointed because this usually hasn't happened, or I usually try and think about it beforehand and put my next pages on another page, leaving a gap in between the pages so that if there is any bleeding, it's not on my next artwork but I didn't think about this this time and continued on the next page anyway and I'm a little disappointed. But anyway, let's talk about what I did. I've kept the layout pretty basic. I've done other calendar layouts before as you can see on my Instagram, but I felt like I should return back to the basics this month. I've incorporated my branch drawing on this page to tie the elements from the title page as I mentioned. I've also used the same font again for the headings for um, the days of the week plus for May. And I've incorporated the same blue in the title because I felt like I should keep it consistent throughout the whole pages of my main spreads. Up next is my sleep tracker. I've had many layouts that I've used since starting my bojo, but I haven't found the right one just yet, so here's the one I've come up with this time. On my x-axis, I have the days of the month listed, while I have how many hours on the y-axis. Now, typically I've done a layout where I have how many hours in the day, like total, as you see here, but different kind of layout. And then I've also had from what time to what time done, and I found that was helpful, but it's still at the same time not really how I wanted to track it, so I'm still trying to find a way to go about how to do my sleep tracker. I've added a cloud of mood along with bringing in the same font for my header, and I'm using the same blue again to add into my header to keep it consistent throughout all my pages. I 
I kept my expenses tracker pretty much the same throughout my bojo. I'm not sure if intake is the right word, but it's the one I've used since the beginning, so I'm just going to go with it. On the expenses side, it's broken down into four columns from place, um, or from, account, debit, credit, or cash, and amount. Did I miss one? I feel like I missed one. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> there is also a total at the bottom of my chart, which will allow me to tally out all the expenses I've made throughout the month and figure out how much I spent. On the intake side, it's very similar, but the form refers to where I received the money. I also have a savings goal on the side, which I like because at the end of the month, I tell everything up and it tells me how much I've saved and it's good to set a goal because I want to save and sometimes I don't. So having this number there allows me to like encourage myself to save. Lastly is my mood tracker. This is by far my favorite mood tracker I've done so far. Even though it's very basic, I just love it. I love the complete design and I feel like it works very well for my theme. Again, I've used my tree branch image, but I've also added to this. I've used 31 circles to create an area which I will fill my mood color into. At the top, you can see I have created my key ranging from happy, sad, tired, annoyed, angry, and sick. I've also left a blank just in case if I need another place to fill in a mood because sometimes I can't always remember what mood that I will be in or all of the ones that I might experience so I leave a few blanks just in case if I need to fill in later on. And that is my mood tracker. <laughs>